Hey Virgo, this is going to be a general love reading for mid-April 2021 for your Sun, Moon, Rising, and or Venus signs. It is general, so it's not going to resonate for all of you, and that's okay, but you can check out one of your other signs or one of your person's other signs if that is the case, and the roles can be reversed. All right, and also if you'd like a personal reading, all that information is in the description box. All right, so let's see. What is the overall energy for Virgo? All right, we have reinvention and we have soulmate. All right, so this is definitely a soulmate connection that you're dealing with. If you don't feel like that is the case for you, then this might not be your reading. And whatever the case is, I feel like there is something that either needs to be reinvented here within this connection, um, feeling like something new needs to come in or just doing things in a different way. All right, or maybe somebody is reinventing themselves in this connection. Let's get into it and see what that's about. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. All right, so for your energy, we have the Page of Wands, the King of Pentacles, and Judgment. So I feel like this might actually be you um, either having some realizations or wanting there to be some kind of a rebirth in this connection. It's like wanting a reconciliation, but wanting this reconciliation to be based on something different, on different grounds um, or having like a different basis. All right. And I feel like part of this might be um, having more stability or maybe having more commitment. Let's see for them. We have the Lovers, Temperance, and the Nine of Wands. So yeah, this person is definitely feeling a lot of love in this connection or just very strong feelings for this connection. And there's something though that is challenging, challenging them here when it comes to finding some kind of a balance or just um, really finding that perfect middle ground for maybe stabilizing themselves, stabilizing their emotions. We'll see when we clarify. Let's see for the near future. We have the moon, the world, and the king of swords. So it might even be that this person is um, possibly trying to make a decision here. All right. And I say that also because of the, of the lovers. Um, I feel like there's still going to be a little bit of mystery coming up in the near future, possibly certain things being hidden. But I feel like whatever those are, like that's coming to an end. I feel like that whatever this reinvention is, I feel like it's definitely moving in that direction here. All right, because secrets are coming to an end. And I see somebody here being very um, decisive, determined taking action possibly, um, just having this really rational and mature sense about them. So let's see the final message here for you is the Seven of Cups. All right, so we're gonna clarify and see what is going on here. So let me clarify the page of wands for your energy. All right, we have the sun, the higher fence, and the three of swords. And I feel like overall, like we do have um, a lot of major arcana considering the amount of cards that are on the table. So that does also indicate that this is definitely like a strong connection as well as big things happening at the moment. Um, but I feel like it's big things happening, but like in subtle ways. I don't see like like a major um, 
like a major shift that happens abruptly, I see little things happening that kind of lead to the bigger picture. So here for you, this is definitely a connection that you feel is very bonded, that is very spiritual. This is something that you really, really want. And I feel like you are, you know, you have a lot of enthusiasm for this connection to be reborn in some way. Um, but there's also a lot of pain here on your end. So it could be that, you know, there have been a lot of struggles maybe along the way. Even if this is something new, I feel like it's already feeling very triggering for you. If this is not something new, I feel like you have been hurt um, in the past. And that's because of the high level um, of connection or the high level of emotions that you are feeling for this person. Let me see the King of Pentacles. Eight of Cups, the King of Swords again, and the Ace of Wands. You know, it feels like yeah, you're you have you hold this enthusiasm for this um, for this connection to have some kind of a new beginning here, but at the same time, it might be that you are contemplating even walking away because if you can't find that stability here, um, I feel like that causes you more pain. And so it's like, I, I feel like with this King of Pentacles, this is, I mean, I could say that it's you being an earth sign, but I feel like it's more of what you would want with this person and it's that stability and you would want this person to be determined about that and to want to come forward in a passionate way to provide that for you. Let me see the judgment. Wow. <laughs> wow, Virgo. Okay, don't forget, rules can definitely be reversed. Um, so clarifying judgment we have the Six of Cups, the Ten of Cups, and the Lovers. I feel like the amount of love that you hold for this person is, is wow, it's incredible. And I feel like it goes both ways actually because you have the Lovers here, they have the Lovers. Um, you know that this is a person that you can be happy with. I mean, you have the Ten of Cups, you have the Sun, the Hierophant. Like this is just something you, f I feel like for you, you feel like this is the one. Like this is just the person that you feel you are meant to be with and that you want to be with, but just you want things to be you want things to be authentic. You want things to reemerge in a way that's going to be different than the, whatever it was that was causing you this pain in the past. I feel like you definitely want this reconciliation um, if you're not together. Let me see the lovers for them. Let's see what's going on with this person here. Because I do sense a little bit of resistance on their part. So you got the Two of Pentacles, the Six of Pentacles, and the King of Wands. All right. Yeah, this I, I feel like this person has been juggling a little bit, either either with something else. All right, so it could be there, that there's something else here and that could be a decision that they are in the process of trying to make. Um, but what I feel is that they have been juggling between really standing strong and coming forward towards this love because they do feel that. They do feel that for you. But also kind of like um, sharing their energy with, with something else. It doesn't have to be another person. I feel it's just not really being able to give you that king of pentacles energy that you're looking for and i feel like that's what you would want this um relationship to be founded on and it has not been because they've been juggling that i feel like you know sometimes they were giving more and then other times they were giving less i feel like that has not been very stable sometimes you know they really felt like you know they were standing strong in their power um, 
coming forward in a more mature or in a more um, stable way and then you know and then they weren't so I feel like there was a little bit of that fluctuation and I feel like th you know that there's still a little bit in that energy so let me see temperance Knight of Cups and the Nine of Cups. Yes, this person definitely holds um, the same intensity of feelings for you as you do for them. All right, that's definitely there. It's definitely very mutual. Um, they're trying to find their balance here. I feel like they're trying to, like I said, like find that middle point to, of, of their own self in their own balance. Rather than fluctuating from one end to the other, they're trying to come in the middle balanced so that they can come forward towards you and um, give you that offer, pretty much. Let me see the Nine of Wands because something here is making it a little difficult for them. Let's see what that is. All right, I will just take the first three cards. We have the Eight of Wands, the Fool, and the five of pentacles. All right, the other one that was down was the empress, in case some of you want to know. So, this person might have a hard time communicating. Um, I feel like there might be, like I said, there might be a decision that they need to make that involves taking a risk, taking a leap of faith maybe. Whatever that is, I feel like it's no, it's not only hard for them to do it, it's also hard for them to really communicate openly about it. I feel like they're a little bit guarded when it comes to that. And I feel like that's something that has hurt you. Um, and one of the reasons why um, that they're in this energy is because doing that, there's a fear of loss that comes with doing um Whatever it is that that would require that that jump, that risk. For some of them, it could even be that there's a fear um, of rejection on your end, but I don't feel like that's going to be for all of you um, because clearly, if that's the case, and this reading was resonating with you, I don't see why you would. Well, maybe I guess I guess you could reject them if they're coming forward and not fully committing. Definitely. Um, but I feel like for the most part, there's a fear of loss associated with something else. And it could be that they have a fear of losing their own stability, right, within their, within their own self or just anything. I don't see them giving up though. I do see them really trying to find this balance and really trying to push through. So yeah, even if they're not communicating very openly to you at the moment, um, they are trying to find that balance. They do want to be with you. All right, it's very clear here. So let's see what's actually coming up in the very near future here. So let me clarify the moon. The Six of Swords, the Ace of Swords, and the Two of Cups. Some truth is coming out. Some truth is coming out. Somebody is, whoever has been, and I feel like it's them, um, holding back, not really expressing themselves. As I said before, I feel like there are some secrets. It might even have to do with other things. Whatever that is, I feel like that person is going to, wants to leave that in the past, like in the sense of, you know, no more secrets, no more hiding things, even if that's just um, for about how I feel. I feel like this person is going to come forward and, and open up a little bit of communication here, all right? Because we have the Ace of Swords, so I do see some action based on truth here, as well as the Six of Swords, wanting to move away from that type of an energy. And why? It's because this connection is so strong. The Two of Cups, um, they want to move towards that. So I do see that coming up. Let me see the world. All right. 
temperance. So there it is. So I feel like, yeah, you know, what this person is trying to accomplish here with this balance, I feel like that is coming up here, all right? A uh, chapter is ending. I feel like that has to do with, you know, this repressed emotions and just holding back or whatever the case is, whatever it is that they may have been hiding here or whatever it is that they may have um, repressed emotionally. I see them actually finding that balance. And once they do that, it might, I mean, it might take a little bit of time, but once they do that, this whole chapter is ending in order for there to be a new one that's opened and that one is going to come in with a lot more um, determination here so let me just clarify the king of swords and i feel like that's what's going to give the chance the opportunity for that rebirth that reinvention of this connection king of swords we have the four of pentacles yeah, this, this situation is not done. <laughs> this connection is not done. It's definitely not over. Um, I do see this being your person really holding on to you. Not going to let you go that easily. So even if you are thinking about, you know, moving away, um, I mean, you can. If that's what feels right for you, then definitely, definitely do that. Um, it doesn't really matter. So, for the message for you, it's the Seven of Cups. Let's actually see what that's about. Alright, the Tower and the Queen of Pentacles, alright, which is you. Okay, so what I'm getting here is that I feel like you, at the moment, you you don't know how this is going to play out, right? Um, and nobody can know how this is going to play out. These are just energies and, you know, the potentials here. So the message that I'm getting here from Spirit is that, you know, it's okay to not know. It's okay if, you know, you, you have different scenarios in your mind about what might happen. I feel like the more you engage in that, like if you are stressing about it, the more that it is going to create conflict for you the more it is going to cause pain for you the more it is going to cause you maybe to you know be freaking out or not being able to concentrate on on other things so i feel like the message here is you know it's okay either way whatever is, is going to play out is going to play out there's no sense in you know um playing out all these scenarios in your mind until you see what's going to happen because I feel like either way you're moving towards really embodying your own power here as this queen of pentacles and by the time you see what plays out you know maybe maybe by that time things will be different on your end too you don't know but if this was resonating I do see that this person is going to um, really try to find that balance and to make things work with you all right, Virgo. So if this was resonating, let's see the final oracle message for you. All right, and we have two. We have make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. And passion. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. All right, so yeah, definitely there's a lot of passion in this connection. That was all over the reading. Um, and I do feel like the, that your person here is making that effort. All right, so Virgo, those were your messages. Thank you so much for watching. Much love.